wherever you are watching from. So, last week I created a lion head themed buttercream cake which had an edible crown topper. So, I felt I'd share a recording of how I created that edible crown topper. Here, I'm really not my paste, which is a mixture of 50% fondant and 50% gum paste. And then I have now proceeded to colouring it with a skin toned gel food colouring to give it that shade so that when I paint over my gold paste it will look it will be more beautiful and more shiny. That's why I've colored it to that shade of like a skin toned color. In any event, I've now rolled out my um, gum a mixture of gum paste and fondant as you can see so the my favorite tools at this stage is my long ruler or, or my long ruler my pizza cutter and of course my the sharp end of my um, decorating tool and um, measuring out I wrote out um, measuring out my crown topper to enable an almost even cut out for the design of my crown so um i've rolled out about i believe about uh, eight inches in um length and then i've now measured out two inches half of that i mean four inches in height and then i've now measured out two to um, give some kind of precision so that i can use that as a guide to cut out the sections i need to cut out to design my crown uh, that's just the process i am going through at this stage ensuring almost um, identical or almost perfect equal measurements across the entire length of my crown or my potential crown. I have now picked up a rectangular metal cutter to use as a perfect tool to get a perfect or an almost perfect cutout from the segments of my crown. So as you can see, you can see the pattern in which I'm trying to use that rectangular, um, utilize that rectangular cutter. So I've just cut it almost equal across the length of my crown. And then I've now used an hexagon cutter, a small hexagon cutter. As you can see, I'm using that to cut small hexagon in the center of this segment. I have just um, used my metal cutter to cut out. As you can see now, I have now finished um, cutting out the hexagonal holes in this individual segments of those and um, uh, my crown template. I'm now setting up my crown template in a way that it's going to stay when it dries and sets. This particular uh, um, segment is important because it is the way mm -hmm. I set it that the crown is going to be um, standing so it is important that I set it properly so as you can see I've just kind of angled those edges in a way that it's uh, it hangs out now at this point I am now creating designs or a mold is using a mold to create designs to place on the cl uh, clear surface of my patterned crown so that it's not just plain that there are some important designs on it so in order to achieve this i'm using a, a cake of fondant mold to create some intricate uh, mold design for that purpose
I have now proceeded to create small balls, almost equal balls. Or actually, it's equal balls because I measured them on my measuring uh, scale to ensure that they're all of equal width. So I have now created about six of them to place on top of those segments, angled segments of my crown. So those are the balls. Are they on my mat? But at the, at the first instance, the, I'm, I'm now applying the molds I initially created at the base of my um, plain crown. I'm using, to, in order to do this, I'm using um, edible piping gel, using my brush to apply it onto the surface and then placing those intricate molded designs at the base of my crown, as you can see. As you saw earlier, I created two patterns. Uh, two patterns. One of them is the one I, I'm just doing now. The other one is more like like, like um, a jewel pattern, a jewel mold, which I am now going to place are the um, uh, um, angled segments or deep segments of the top of my crown. As you can see now, I'm placing those molded um, jewels the deep deep cut um, segments of the top at the top of my crown you can freestyle it you understand you don't have to go for these uh, specific designs or molds that i'm creating you know i've created a number of crowns in the past and using different designs for them in fact in the past i have not cut out my segments like this it depends on how you're inspired so as you can see i've now put all those jaws all around you know now at this point now i'm now going to place those uh, little little balls i rolled out on top of the top segments of my crown and um, to achieve this i mean to, to to execute this i have cut out um little short short um flower floral wires apply them i mean place them into uh, put them into my edible piping jar just to create some, create some sort of adhesive slide holds and then inserted it into those segments and then inserted my rolled out fondant or gum paste and fondant mixture so that i, I apply those piping just so that it is it, it an, an adhesive for them to stay and sell and seal so at this point before these i have left my crown to sit out for a few hours to harden up and set so that it is it's now at this point maintained its shape so i've now proceeded now to painting over the entire crown with gold paste my gold paste i'm using edible alcohol that is vodka mixed it with my edible gold dust to create a paste and of course as you can see i'm using my brush to apply it or brush it on the entire surface of the crown to include the designs or the molds I, I, I put on them so that's the process I'm going through at this moment just simply painting over my entire crown and you can see the entire crown is um, painted with edible gold paste and that's the finished product so i let the crown out for a few more hours to dry before i place it on my cake i hope you enjoyed watching the process do leave me a comment i'd love to read from you and that's the cake i made the top on top of the finished cake beautifully sitting feel free to share like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so thank you for now and see you next time